Hey my dear Librans, hope you all are doing fantastic, fantabulous. So today we will be doing a yearly spread for you for the year of 2023. Hope it comes out well, it turns out well for all of you. Also remember that uh, this is a collective spread. It may may not resonate with each and every one of you. Okay. And... Um, yeah, in case if you are looking for a personal private session for next year, uh, you can hit me up on my Instagram. Uh, the link is in the description box below and I'll be happy to do a reading for you. All right. So we'll be using different oracle cards along with advices and tarot deck and each I will be pulling out 12 cards uh, in the, uh, you know from my tarot deck representing each month starting from january till december but for now let's start with what are the life lessons that you have learned in 2022 which you'll be taking or carrying with you in 2023 this is for my dear liberans what is it that they have learned in 2022 happiness i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path you have you may have learned it the hard way but the fact is and the good thing is that you have learned finally okay and you know that being happy means a lot if you're happy if you're doing something that makes you feel happy then that means that you are on the right path then we have loneliness i know that i am never alone so I feel that you know uh, probably 2022 have been a little kind uh, have been a little silent and lonely for you but you have also started loving yourself being lonely okay you know how to handle yourself and loneliness actually gave you that liberty wherein you fell in love with yourself okay now let's see what is it that you need to surrender before you enter 2023 what is it that my liberance needs to surrender before you enter 2023 please what is it that my liberance need to surrender before you enter 2023 please what is it that my liberance needs to surrender before you enter 2023 please Surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you have built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. I feel that, you know, whatever stress that you have taken in the year gone by or with passing 2022, you need to surrender that, that stress. Okay, you need to leave it in 2022. You have struggled enough and now when you're entering 2023, you need to be stress-free. And the bottom of the deck, we have surrendered to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quite meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. I feel that, you know, you need to... Uh, for few, I see that, you know, the cards are guiding for you to meditate and find your inner peace and joy through that. You need to surrender to your inner peace. Don't stress. Don't struggle. Let divine and universe hold your hand and drive the way for you in 2023. Now, let's see what is your advice before entering 2023 for the year of 2023. This is for my dear liberals. What is your advice? What is the advice for my dear liberals before entering 2023, please? Okay, we have bring love into the situation. Okay, so whatever situation that you're dealing with, you're being advised to bring love into that particular situation. Okay, and things will happen according to you. Bottom of the deck, we have look at the bigger picture. So not all the time you have to look at one side of the coin. You need to look at the bigger picture as well. Now, moving on to your tarot card. Let's see what is it that we need to know. What is going to happen starting from January till December 
in the life of my dear Librans in their love life. Okay, so we are going to draw 12 cards starting from January till December. This is for my dear Librans, please. What is going to happen each month in their love life? Let's take a sneak peek here starting from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. <sighs> Librans, I see that, you know, at the bottom of the deck, we have Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze, I guess. Excuse me. Okay, so, you know, at the bottom of the deck, we have this Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands and Queen of Serpents. I see that right now you're trying to find certain direction. You want to go towards somebody and you are looking for a commitment or probably you are seeking a commitment from certain somebody that you have in your mind. Somebody who have been quite on and off in your life or you have been quite on and off in their life. But I see with Nine of Pentacles there is a wish fulfillment seen on your cards some somebody in your life is like a wish fulfillment somebody who is quite independent who's quite confident who is somebody who is quite balanced quite abundant established well established can be doing good in their career or it is you so take how it may resonate right now Entering the year of 2023 in the month of January, I see Ace of Pentacles, which tells me that there is a lot of stability which is coming in starting of the year itself. Maybe in finances, maybe in new job, maybe new project, maybe new business or even a stable relationship is coming in in the month of January. So probably it is this person okay, that you are getting into a relationship with. Okay, so I see you entering 2023 with a commitment and a lot of stability. Moving on to the month of February, I see six of swords. You're moving towards more calmer waters. Situations are turning out for better in your life. And I see that, you know, uh, your life is sailing smoothly in the month of February. Moving on to March, I see Knight of swords, which tells me... That there are a few certain life situations which are not going down pretty well in your life and you're being a little aggressive. Your approach towards those situations is becoming a little aggressive. Okay, dear Librans. So just be careful. I also see that, you know, you may be even traveling. Uh, but in the month of March, I see few aggression maybe in your relationships, few arguments happening. So just be careful with your tone. Okay, you may get a little aggressive. In the month of April, I see that you'll be very happy. You'll be like childlike. You'll be enjoying your life. And there's nothing more that you could ask for from your life. You'll be like in the best of your health. You'll be like in best of your uh, ability. You'll be like in best of your, uh, you know, uh, whatever you will be doing, you'll be like very happy. Okay, you'll be like content. You'll be like very happy. You'll be enjoying your life basically. Okay, and then I see uh, by May, I see four of cups. There's some amount of discontentment that you are going through now. Okay, there is something. Sorry, this before it actually goes out. I'm just fixing. Okay, so there is some amount of discontentment, probably somebody rejected your love offer or something happened because of which you're not feeling very happy or very on top of the world, you're feeling very demotivated and somebody actually rejected your offer of love. So you're not happy in the month of May. 
again in june i see that you are somebody is quite on and off in your life or you are being quite on and off in your life there's a lot of love sorry attraction but stability is again missing in the month of june and that is what is bothering you in the month of june probably something that started off really well with stability by the time june will approach again it will be quite on and off in your life in the month of july i see that you are gaining balance uh, for few of you i see that probably you may be even getting into some sort of addiction so just be careful with that but there is a wish fulfillment coming in there's a lot of emotional bliss is, uh, which is coming in you're feeling emotionally very secured very stable following august with 10 of wands you are being overwhelmed you're being overworked and there's a lot of past packages from this particular relationship or your previous relationships that you're carrying and now you're feeling very tired of of you know uh, of your failed relationships okay in the month of september i see five of swords you have lost trust in love you have lost trust in people you have lost trust in the situation that you are in with somebody or in the connection October I see three of swords I see that you know they can be a breakup but if not a breakup I see a heartbreak on the card and you are trying to recover you're feeling that pain that hurt you're feeling wounded and you're trying your best to uh, come out of it by November I see again you're getting back into your flirtatious energy and there can be a new beginning a new person a new situation brewing up and that's a very passionate one and when you enter december 2023 i see eight of swords okay now eight of swords is telling me sorry this is nine of swords sorry sorry nine of swords now nine of swords that's what i was thinking nine of swords is telling me that by the year will end you will be very anxious very uh much in fear not able to sleep properly not even eating properly and there is a lot of questions and a lot of future questions that you have which is keeping you up till late at night your you you know your health may even suffer so just take care of your health i see that you know there are a lot many questions that you have in your mind and you're worried about that okay so your year would not be ending on a positive note as compared to the rest of the year but that is up to you what you want to do how you want to end your year right now let's see what are the messages from the divine messages from the divine please message from the divine for my dear liberance please why do you feel the need to think you are unworthy you deserve everything okay so if you're in self-doubt and you're doubting yourself dear liberance you are worthy of everything do not do that we have you are the only one you will ever need except embrace to ish to uh, embrace it to unleash the miracles when you unleash your true potential your manifestation will chase you be ready for it beautiful messages so before you enter 2023 these are your messages and this is a sneak peek for the next year i hope it resonates with you and wishing you all the love success and happiness dear liberals thank you bye bye